Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. I'm getting a lot of grief behind the camera, so i got to stay focused, all right? Anyway, 67 GTO convertible. And you say, well, you know, Tony, that's a great-looking car, but uh, a lot of times people don't know why. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to spend a minute looking at this car. So think about this. The word on the street is the GTO started the muscle car craze. The car came out in 64, right? John DeLorean had his hand in all that and the design and getting all that ready. And we end that whole era with this car right here. So when you think about collector cars, like what makes a collector car worth more than others? Why are some cars uh, more valuable down the road? Typically, the last of the cars is the most valuable. Like you take a 69 Camaro, for instance, worth a lot more than, say, a 68 Camaro because it's the last of that body style before it changed. This car is the same exact thing. Throw in the fact that it is a convertible. Throw in the fact that it's a four-speed, right? Beautiful color combination, right? The red with black. It's just very authentic looking. This does have uh, upgraded radials on it. We could put period correct bias ply tires if you wanted to show the car, and we're happy to do that. But my feeling is you're probably going to want to drive this to work or whatever, and these radials make this car drive, I mean, 100% better than the old school tires. Your call, you'll let us know, and uh, we'll uh, talk about that. So uh, after we finish looking at the car, we're going to go for a little test drive. Maybe you can hear it up and down, the sounds that this car makes. It's just fabulous. And when you ride in this car, man, it is, uh, I don't want to say it's life-changing, but it's close to life-changing. Imagine taking uh, another couple out with you to dinner or going out with the family in this car and you guys go out in this car and it makes that nice rumble, uh, makes a sound and a feel that you can't get in today's modern car. This is amongst a lot of other supermodels in the showroom, but this car out on the road going down there, you can't help but do this. All right, so let's talk about paint. So uh, keep in mind, too, that this is an original R-Code regimental red car. It started life as this. Even better, right? Nothing wrong with a red 67 GTO convertible, huh? And then we we'll talk about the quality under the lights here. What you want to do is be able to read, not just see the words and letters. You want to be able to read each one nice and crisp because that will give you an idea of the quality of the paint. There's a couple little subtle designs on here. First off, this is a great-looking mug. Like, if you're a car person, you know if I remove this emblem right here, you know exactly what this car was right away. But the 67s had a special grill, right? They had the mesh grill. Plus, they had a couple small features that uh, the 66 did not have, even though they both had the stacked headlights. Um, and you get that great hood. You get this great look. It's just, a, it's just a whole package together. If you said, you know what, I'd like to also show the car, I think that's a great idea, too. So you go to your show. You go ahead and you open up your hood here. And it's already detailed for you right engines all nicely painted it's all detailed inside here see those clamps right there those are tower clamps although they're not uh they don't define the restoration of a car you say well tom what does it matter if it has tower clamps on it and you're like well these little details here are what takes a car to the next level somebody's put more effort into it has a correct air cleaner on it has this battery topper this is all detailed in the cadmium way the cow tag that's located right here is showing this as an original GTO and it's also showing it as an original red car which is pretty cool and it's also nicely looking under here and I think that if you wanted to show the car you could really have some fun with it. All right so part of the detail process is we're going to detail the trunk, we're going to put the correct mat in, we're going to put the spare tire in there, we also have these cool little decals, things like that that just add a little final touch to it. If Again you don't have to show this car but the idea behind it is you're buying a nice enough car that you could take it to a show if you wanted to throw a couple coolers back here, go to the beach, take another couple out for dinner, drive to the country, all kinds of things you can do with this. You know, to keep in mind, it also started life as just like a regular car, but the GTOs took that to a whole nother level, and that's why this car sounds so good when you're rowing through the shifter. Listen to that for a second. Like, that's a nice, solid-sounding car. This is going to be really, really nice, too. It holds luggage, it holds coolers, it holds uh, up to four bodies. The Italian part of me only knows that because I knew some people back in the day who put, never mind, that's not important. What I'm getting at is this, this is nice enough to open up, show the world, do whatever you want, or just enjoy and go for a ride. All right, so come get in here. Listen, uh, this is where you're going to spend your time. But before I do that, I wanted to say this. I want you to hear that. Keep in mind, this is a convertible. And convertibles typically are uh, more rattly than, say, a coupe. This car is beautifully preserved, beautifully restored. Even little things like the interior lights that are working inside here. You may say, well, Tom, what's the big deal about an interior light? What's a light bulb cost? No, it's not the light bulb. What it says is that even though these might not have worked maybe two or three years after the car was new, 
somebody spent the time to wire them, make sure that they work, buy new bezels and lenses, install the light bulbs, make sure that it all works. Those are the little detail things that you're getting. It's only one of hundreds of details that make for a great driving car. Anyway, when we get in here, right, this is a full-size car, which is nice because people like me who are 6'1", right, we have plenty of room in here. We can take our kids who are tall or another couple out to dinner. You know, I talk about that up front and enjoying this car more than, say, maybe just going out by yourself on a Sunday. Go to dinner in this car. Drive the car to work on a Friday, man. It's a game changer for you, right? You pull into work. Work's a drag. You get ready to leave. You go to your car downstairs. You call whoever it is that you're on your way home. And then you shut the phone off, man. Shut the phone off. Throw it in the console here, right? This is kind of a nice touch, too, by the way, the full console. Throw the phone in there. Put some tunes on that you like, right? Because we, uh, if you want, we can install a nice digital sound system right in here. Oh, sorry, it already has it in here. Would you look at that, huh? Already here for you. You can stream your music to it, play uh, the stations that you like. You know what? Check out from Twitter and Facebook and all of this, this, this noise coming at you and enjoy some of this noise right here. Your choice, white or black shifter ball. Just let us know which one you like. We have both of them here. Um, some people love the white shifter ball. Some people love the black shifter ball because it goes with this. I'm on the fence either way. I don't care. I just think they're great looking, right? Black bucket seats, original AM radio right here in the dash. The dash is all nicely kind of kept original, and that's why I like hiding the radio in the glove box right there. Interior is fairly uh, authentic as well. I don't see many upgrades inside here other than uh, maybe some uh, maybe nicer pedals, mats, the kinds of things that you want. I also know, too, that this has been dynamated. So it has this matting underneath the carpet, which adds uh, for a little better ride. It adds some more uh, silence. It, uh, it keeps the heat out. It just makes for a, a much better experience. So imagine you're sitting in there and you're rolling down the road, leaving work, man. You get, you get your one arm out the side here. You got your tunes on. You see, making a sound out the back of the car that today's modern car doesn't make. And when this car goes down the road, people love it, man. It makes them smile. Even the people that don't love cars, remember riding around in a car like this with somebody. Listen, as we close up this video, let's run down a couple of things that made such a difference when we're talking about this car. Last year, this was built 67 GTO, convertible, four-speed, matching numbers, power disc brakes, power steering. I mean, in this video, the car looks spectacular, but get it out on the road. It is a whole other level even above that. I'm just telling you, man, you want to have some, some therapy, go see a therapist or get yourself a GTO. It'll be the same, and you're going to be super, super happy about that. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. Don't forget to uh, share this with your friends. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, like it, and uh, we'd love to hear your comments, man. Maybe you restored one. Maybe you rode one around. Maybe your parents had one. Maybe you owned one as a kid. We'd love to talk about that with you as well. Uh, thanks again for watching the video, and we'll talk to you later.